How do you want to do this? Do you want to jump into Mo Bag or do you want to like take a potty break? Uh, we can jump into it. Okay. So if it's quick, yeah. I can feel it coming on. Oh. I can feel it coming on. So <laughs> let's run through these. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch them up a little bit. I'm gonna put. We got three questions, just like yeah. normal. Um, I think I'm gonna take the third question and move it to the first. Okay. I feel like that would be better as far as YouTube. Okay. Because that's going to be like the name of the video and the thumbnail and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, question number one. I told you he was going to talk about Trump again. Mm -mm. What do you think of Trump's major announcement? Now, do you know what they're talking about? I know Please what the fuck they're talking about. Tell me. Okay, so Trump on Truth Social. Just give everybody some background just in case you don't know too. So on Truth Social, Trump, he posted something a little while back. That basically said, everybody get ready. I have a major announcement coming tomorrow. Right? And so people are speculating. They're like, what's he going to say? What's he gonna... This is well after he already announced his presidential bid, whatever, right? Like, what's it going to be? People, I was scrolling through Twitter and I could see people saying like, what do you think his major announcement is going to be? Whatever. And people are like, I bet he's going to say he wants to be Speaker of the House or some stupid shit and whatever. Right? You know what his major announcement was? What? Introducing... Let me see if I can pull it up here. Introducing President Donald Trump NFT trading cards. <laughs> this is not a joke. This is not fan fiction. This is some shit this man actually did. Let me bring this up. Are you serious? Yeah. I'm so disappointed. So he announced that there were going to be limited edition NFT trading cards. There's only 4,500 available for $99 a piece. And I think he announced if you, if you buy a certain number of them, like if you spend a certain amount, then you will be entered to win a trip to Mar-a-Lago to eat dinner with Donald Trump, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Oh, they're going to do that. Um, but I think you still have to pay for like your own plane ticket and all that shit. I don't think they actually do it for you. I think that's the stupidest shit so ever. So it's 100% stupid. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it's a good sale though. Um, No. No. Now granted. I'm talking about the Mar-a-Lago thing. I think. That's not even a good sale. Fuck that. Last dinner he had there, he had a. Police array. He had a white supremacist and a anti-Semite. I don't give a shit about Mar-a-Lago. <laughs> um. But, so, I think they've already sold out. I think the 45000 that they were going to make available have already sold for $100 a piece. It's $4.5 million. Bro, $4 I... $4.5 million. Boom. There you go. I don't like it. So, let's pull up <laughs> some of these. You've seen two of them. Yeah. You've seen the 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 superhero one. Um, <laughs> there's one of him as an astronaut. Okay, we got him as a hunter. All that good stuff. Yeah, looking good, Donald. Wait, 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 wait. What is that? What is what this? Yes, boxing. <laughs> so. When he announced these, he said that these are some limited edition, high quality NFT trading cards portraying his life and his career. He was a boxer. When the fuck <laughs> was, he was he a boxer? He was, when the fuck was he a superhero? When the fuck was he a hunter? <laughs> Is that Homelander? No, he's playing. That one is down there <laughs> because uh, Vault International, the Twitter account that like. Yep. So after this announcement, they tweeted, huge announcement, official Homelander digital collectible cards have arrived. <laughs> so they kind of made fun of him. That is ridiculous. When was he, was he an astronaut? Never. Never. That's hilarious. You got this one. Oh, a sheriff. Okay. Now. Here's the funny part. So what do we think about this major announcement? It's fucking ridiculous. Right. But Zero. here's some good shit. 
I got some good shit for you. Uh, where'd it go? I'm gonna have to go to my back to my spreadsheet here. Bro, Trump is on one. He <laughs> so apparently. So we have these. Mm-hmm. They appear to be they appear to be using photos from like small clothing brands. Like they have, it appears that they stole some pictures from small brands that they thought wouldn't matter and then whatever. And then they kind of photoshopped them up to make yep. them look just a little bit different. We'll go through a couple of examples here. So let me zoom in. Wow. So this is uh, Banded, a company called Banded, which Wait. is a, a hunting apparel company. So if we look at this, this is the NFT. This is a picture from their website. Okay. If you take, if you look at the hand here mm-hmm. and the way the, the fabric bends in right there we see that there's a very strong correlation here yep okay if we look at kind of the design you have the belt it's a little more open on this side you have the belt it's a little more open on that side that's ridiculous it appears they took this photo from the website they flipped it Mm -hmm. and then they they did some photoshop and they made this like camo they obviously they put his head on there they put some stuff on his chest and everything. But it would appear they used the same photo. Yep. I definitely say so. I definitely say so too. Then you have this one. Here's the NFT. Here is, uh, this is available on Amazon. Okay. If you look at this picture, we have a kind of a closed hand here, kind of an open hand here. Closed hand. Yep. Open hand. We have the pocket whatever the hell this thing is. Yep. We have the pocket, pocket, whatever the hell this thing is. If you look on his sleeve, we have this kind of the dark crease here. And then whatever this is going on right here, we have the dark crease, whatever that is going on. There. <laughs> if you look here where it kind of flows open, kind of the crease going right there, same crease. <laughs> okay. So again, it appears they took some picture. And just Photoshopped. Just Photoshopped it, made it white, put a little... Dylan there, put him some fuzzy, fuzzy collar because, you know, he's a pussy. He gets cold up there. <laughs> uh, you know, that kind of stuff. Did they have another one? I know they showed those two. Yeah, they didn't show another one. But, like, so if you... It appears that they've just stolen shit and photoshopped it and now they're selling it for 100 bucks a pop to these moron MAGA supporter people. It's genius. It's, ge- it's stupid, but it's so fucking genius at the same time. Because you know these motherfuckers, like we talked about them earlier, no matter what happens, they're going to vote for him. Okay, mm-hmm. They're going to back him no matter what. A thousand percent. Okay? So you know they're just going to, they're just going to gobble this shit up mm-hmm. if you come up with it. So fuck it. $100 a piece. We'll, we'll throw some half-assed Photoshop. We'll steal some pictures. We'll make four and a half million off of it. That is the most stupidest yeah. thing ever. But hey, it's Trump. But for him what to- What do you expect? To sell this big announcement, and that's what he has. And that's the big announcement? I'll be pissed off. Well, that's the thing. The the people that are like real fucking, like, I fucking bleed Trump, they weren't pissed off. They'll fucking gobble up anything he puts out there. Now, there are some people out there that are Trump supporters because they see him as the antithesis to Biden, and they mm-hmm. don't like Biden. Mm-hmm. And so when he said, for those people, when he says, oh, I have a major announcement, they're like, all right, fucking, we're, we're going to do it. We're going to take the White House back or something, right? We're going to get away from Biden, thank God. And then he comes up with this shit. Those people are probably pissed. 100%. That shit's stupid. Yeah. But you ready for the next question? Yes. All right. Should police departments be able to use killer robots? No. So, uh, I think this was, I have to look it up. I think this was somewhere over in California. Um, their police departments were using killer robots. Uh, and what that means 
is in situations where it's too dangerous to send a person in, they can send an armed robot in. Okay, sure. Okay. okay. That's yeah. what they mean by killer okay. robots, right? So, yes, yeah, San Francisco, whatever. So, it was put to a some sort of vote or whatever, and it was voted on that the police departments in, I don't know if it was just San Francisco or if it was just California's whole, I think it was just San Francisco. Um, San Francisco decided to, they were not going to allow their police departments to use those robots. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I, I think they should be able to. Yeah. Like if it's a situation where it's so dangerous, like when you like put there's it in a that, good fucking chance if you send people in, they're going to die. Yeah. Send a robot in. We let robots do everything else. Fuck, send a robot in to kill them. I convey. Convey? Do you know what convey means? You concur. Yeah, that But way. you're not conveying shit. I, I, I'm, I'm done drinking. <laughs> but, yeah, because if you think about it, if there is like a situation where there is a shootout or something like that, yeah. and, and they're held up in the house, and you don't want to send your, 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 your boys in to knock down the door, because as soon as they knock down the door, they can get shot. Yeah. So if you send the right robot, you just, you know. Let's go see if there was a, well, not news. Let's go to images. Let's see if we have any pictures. Oh, it's. It's uh, like that right there. It's like a little fucking rover D, with a gun on the top D2, of it. D2. R2-D2? R2-D2. Don't ever come into this office <laughs> and fuck like up that. a Star Wars reference. Okay. Don't ever come into this <laughs> office and fuck up a Star Wars record. I'm sorry. Don't ever come into this <laughs> office and fuck up a Star Wars record. I would grab the other one too, but there's stuff on top of it. But no. You know bro. better. <laughs> yeah. But it's, let me open this up in another, another tab or another page or whatever, and we'll, uh, We'll zoom in. It's a shitty fucking picture, but. But yeah, like. You know, you have a situation where you can't send in people because they're going to be in like big danger. Fuck, send in one of these. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Because if it's a situation like that where you know if you send in a person, you're going to get shot at. Mm -hmm. Then you know if we do send in people, we're going to kill that guy. Okay. He may get some of us in the process, but we're going in guns blazing. Like, that's the situation we're in. Yep. Send in fucking the Mars Rover with an AK on it and blow the dude to smithereens. Okay? Plus, if it's remote controlled, mm -hmm. you can aim better with that. Yep. Okay? Take some of these try -hards human, and play Call of Duty, less, bro. Yeah, there's less human error. If it's more of like a stealth type deal or like, let's send this some bitch in real quick. He's going to see a person coming in and hear a person coming in. But if we can like slowly get this little killer robot in there, then we can fucking put the crosshairs right there. All right. And it's, we'll fucking, we'll forehead his ass. I support it only if the person controlling this drone has had played at least 20 hours of Call of Duty. So you're saying... Put the little grandma that plays Call of Duty in charge of this oh drone. Oh my gosh. And let her control. Oh, she will clear it <laughs> out in record time. Like we have this building. There are 18 uh, hostiles. There's about 50 hostages. <laughs> Grandma's like, and she'll be like All right. hold my beer. Give me 15 minutes. <laughs> like, hold on. Let me make my load out real quick. Yeah. I got you. Like, no. But... We need somebody trained to do it. We need it in the right situations, but I do agree. Yeah. You know, I'm with it. I, I, I'm 100% for putting robots in harm's way instead of people in right. harm's way. I think the the idea that artificial intelligence is going to run rampant and mm -hmm. take over and all that kind of stuff, I think it's just this irrational fear that was created by sci-fi movies that's not actually going to fucking happen. Right. Like, I'm a programmer. That's not how AI works. Nope. Okay. That's, mm -mm. nope. No. So, last question. Okay. Okay. Should the United States have made the trade for Brittany Griner? You're familiar with this, at least, ain't you? Yeah. Do you know who we traded? Uh, I know he was an arms dealer. He was the arms dealer. He was, like, number one. He was, at one point, he was literally called the merchant of death. 
like he would go to these little like civil wars or whatever you want to call it in Africa and sell guns to both sides. Like he controlled wars basically because he that's what he would do. He would sell to both sides or he would do any of that. How did he get his hands on these guns? He was uh what did he do? Before he started being this arms dealer, he had some job, uh like a Russian investigator or something where he kinda had access to a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. And it just kinda kind of snowballed from there. Um but not you zoomed in too far. Uh, you're asking me a tough question. Yeah. She's a, she's home now, by the way. Yeah. See, the thing is, we wanted her home for sure. Like that was our goal. What's his name? Mike Boot or something like that. Victor Boot. Now this says this says he's more or less powerless now. No. Which Russia wanted him back so goddamn bad. I don't think he's powerless. No. No. I think there's a reason they wanted him back so bad. Um and I think he's already he said while he was in prison that if he ever got out and went back to Russia, he wanted to not only fight against the United States, but he wanted to help Russia fight against Ukraine. Like he's he's a big supporter of the war in Ukraine. So the question is, do you think we should have made that trade? Do you think we should have given up like the the number one most dangerous arms dealer in the world for a basketball player? No. I understand the concept of protecting our own, but you have to understand, like we watch a lot of movies that deal with comic book characters and super situations that would never really happen as far as like, like Superman and stuff like that. Right, right. But we understand the concept of what they're talking about. What is the greater risk? Right. You know, because the whole, whole story of the civil war was we're doing a good job, but we're killing more people than we should. Mm hmm. So for us to trade to get Britain Grinder for a guy, like I understand you want to save that one life, but what could it cause? You know, mm-hmm. um, I'm not saying that she should have just stayed over there or we should have, you know, just left her alone. I'm, I'm think I'm saying like we should have found another way, you know, for for him to make these idle threats, and we've have proof of him coming through of what he said he's going to do. Like, mm-hmm. he, we've seen him, you know, yeah. contribute to these wars. I think the, the, the sting, I call it a sting, to capture him took like six months. And like, it was an international deal. Like, they followed him across like countries around the world. And they finally got him like in Taiwan or something like that. That's what I'm going to say. But we wanted our basketball player back. We did. That's what, that's what I will say. Give that grandma a drone. <laughs> say, hey. You know that Victor Boot motherfucker we just let out? Go get him. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, but, no. What curveball. I'm 100% on board with it. Gotcha. Um, do I think that this basketball player is worth a fucking arms dealer? Not in a million years. No. But at the end of the day... I don't think we should. I, I think whatever we have to do to get Americans back here to take care of our own, I think we should do it. Yeah. But this was a, like that fucking deal right there says, this was a very steep price to pay. Yeah. And I understand why a lot of people are not on board with it. Whatever. She's an American. Get her ass back home. That's just how I feel about it. And I, I feel like that was our only way of getting her. But I wish we could have found us. I wish Putin was. is in such a fucking mood right now. Yeah, that was the only way we were going to be able to get her back. There's a lot of people asking, because we have another person over there in Russia, too. can't remember what his name was, but there's there's some other guy that's being held, some other American that's being held in Russia right now, and a lot of people were, they're, they're asking why, uh, why couldn't we do, like, we give up Victor Boot, 
and Russia gave us back Brittany Griner and that guy. Like a two for one. But no. maybe I'm wrong. Putin's maybe in, Putin's in such a mood right now. Like maybe nothing they came, would happen. They came to this agreement. Like we'll give you Brittany Griner back if you give us Victor Putin or whatever. And I think because of how volatile Putin is right now, Biden and his administration were like fucking. You, we're going to take that deal while it's still on the table. If we if we try to counter with anything, or if we like, you know, stumble around it or whatever, he could just just like that decide. Nope, never mind. I'm not doing it. So I think they found they saw an opportunity and they jumped on it. I commend them for it. I just, but I'm not in this situation. I don't know the information they do. I'm I'm going on the standpoint of if there is a better deal or a different deal. Oh, I get, I get there, of course there were better deals and different deals. Yeah. Problem is, like I said, with Putin right now, if he gives you a deal and you're getting something out of it, you might as well take it because yeah. he's he's just this old ornery motherfucker. That thinks he's God's gift to man and it's his way or the highway type of thing. We know people like that. One of them just made some NFTs. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, that's it for Mailbag. That's the show, everybody. Yep. Thank you for watching. We appreciate it. We will see you next week yep. for our last show of the year. Last show of the year. That's right. Merry Jesus' birth month. <laughs> That was a whole bunch of nothing. A whole bunch of nothing.